What's going on? It's your boy Rock from Flip the Thrift. I'm going to show you what I found today at the bins and yesterday what I picked up at the thrift stores. You won't want to miss it. Stay tuned. Okay, so if you guys are just tuning in and you like this type of content, make sure you guys please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to leave a comment down below if you have any questions or concerns or keep it clean, whatever. And uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, like, 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 and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell to get notified when I post new content. Let's get started. So first things first, we're going to get into the stuff that I picked up yesterday. Um, I'm definitely out of inventory, totally out of inventory. I have like I think I have, how many's over there? I might have like 10 suits and jackets left. Like I list them periodically because I had so many at one time. Um, I did go crazy last year a little bit and, and do a lot of shopping, way too much shopping than I should have. But um, so we're gonna get into the stuff that I got at the thrift store. So this was, this wasn't the bins. I don't, oh, this was the Salvation Army. That's right. Okay. And that's the bin item. I got these threads from the bins um, today. Anytime I see thread, I always pick it up because you never know what color you're going to need. And the more, the merrier. Um, I have like two boxes of um, two container. What? Well, no, I have one container of sewing stuff. It's actually going to, it's going to um, probably, you know, it's going to explode now, but that's okay. The more, the more color you have, the better. You never have enough buttons, too. Like, I don't have enough buttons. But, um, so we're going to get right into it. I believe that yellow is a, this is a trucking brand. This was a K brand hat. This is another brand. Make sure you guys are checking. Um, checking the snap. Sometimes when you pull them apart, they rip apart. Um, this one is actually really good. This is a K brand. Um, the best place to find, um, usually this... See, there's no tag on the inside, but if you look on, if you look on the back snap, you'll see that it says K product, and they're made in USA, and these are very sought after, so they're the ones that you want to look for. I think they do say it on the inside. They might be missing the inside tag, but just a really cool, um, really dope brim on that one. It's like, what is that, hound's tooth? That is, that's exactly what that is. That pattern's called hound's tooth. Um, it's a little bit smaller, so I think there's another word for that one. I do have, um, make sure you guys are studying your patterns as well. I do have, I do have the patterns on my computer so that I can use them as a reference guide, but that, um, I'll probably get like 25 for that. I'm, I'm not really sure. I don't think that that's like real, real super rare, but <clears throat> it is what it is. So I've seen these selling for a decent amount. Anytime I see dance goes, I always pick them up when they're the nursing clog shoes. These are cool. Um, I didn't notice that they were a little more worn right here where they're kind of creased. But you can't really notice it because of the tie-dye. So any imperfections on these shoes, you're not really going to notice because of the, um, the color. So actually, there's a heart on this side and then there's a peace sign on that side. I didn't notice that. Um, all I seen was the peace sign. But um, I always grab them when I see them. These are a bigger size. I think they're 41, which is not really sure. They are a little torn up on the inside, too. I didn't know. I just noticed that now, too. These are, I probably shouldn't have picked these up. I'm, I'm probably going to take a loss on these. Is that a vent? It looks like a little vent. Yeah, but um, Dansko is a really good brand. If you can find them, usually um, they tend to be in pretty good condition. Those were worn a lot. They have the soles on them must be really, really good. Like, because they seem to have, they seem to be lasting. Also, Duluth is another good brand. I paid six for this. This is actually like a jacket barn coat. Um, this is a heavy, heavyweight lined. I don't know if it's quilted. It's a fleece line. So it's got the fleece on the inside. This is a heavy um, denim fleece lined jacket shirt. I guess you could put your tag on the back of that, like your hunting tag or whatever. So, I'm um, still really pretty good find for six bucks. It's got metal buttons on it. Um, just really nice jacket. That's more of a jacket than a shirt. So I'll just put jacket button up shirt in the title. So I did find a couple pair of vintage Levi's. So I didn't find much, but I did 
We found a couple things. You know, nothing crazy, but... So yesterday was kind of a bust. Um, I didn't really have time to shop, but we're in the middle of moving right now, so I'm kind of like all over the place. These are the Levi's um, Double X. I believe that these are like reproductions or something. Like, I was reading up on them a little bit, and they're definitely not Big E's, and they're not made in USA. But I do think they might be a reproduction of vintage, but they're button fly, they're 501s. Um, I'm thinking like maybe like 25 for these. So, but there was another pair, and these are new with tags. So, these are not like real raw. They're not like, they're not super raw, but they're, they're decent. They're not hemmed. A lot of times you'll find new jeans, and they'll be hemmed. These ones look like they might have been. The hem is really small at the bottom of, of these. What's it look like on the other ones? Just, those are more worn than anything, so I'm not really sure, but... They were brand new, and that's the reason why I picked them up, and they were a decent price. They were only $6, so um, 6 into, I think these are selling for like 35 something like that. Maybe a little bit more, it just depends. So I only picked this up because it was Pokemon, and it's sealed in the bag. I'm not sure, it's just like a little folder you put your cards in. Um, Pokemon made in China, 2008 or something. So I don't know what this came with. I don't know if this was from McDonald's. Um, I think it would say that on it. It just holds like a bunch of cards on the inside. Maybe I'll give it to my son. Um, it's it's good because it has Pikachu and I don't know. I don't know if that's Charizard or I, I don't know all the characters in Pokemon very well. I'm not like super knowledgeable of Pokemon. But so this is the stuff that I got at the bins, including that Pokemon thing. All right, so there was tons of these. There's one two three four there's four pairs and i think there was five or six six and they're all a size 40. they're all 40 with a 10 inch inseam um these are like working these are red cap what is that oh these are different this is a different brand what size are these these are 40 40 x this is you first never heard of that brand i'll probably just throw them in I'll throw them right in with the red cap ones. Um, sell them in a lot of six. So there's, I think there's six pairs. Six pairs. And I should do pretty decent with those. Like, not bad. You know, not super good, but um, probably like 60 bucks for all of them. I'll probably list them high. All right, so this is a Stone Harbor. It's not made in USA, so it's not like really vintage, right? It's Rami and Cotton, which is not bad. Rami's a, it's not a great fabric, but... Um, somebody had it in their hand, they showed it to me, and I was like, okay, well, I'll just put the keywords in it. It's got the, like, the snowflake, the, like, the Fair Isle Nordic type of design on it. So, um, by the time sweaters sell, I figure I'll probably get, like, 25 for this. I'll list it for 30, and I'll take an offer. I always do for 25. This was laying on the top of the pile. I don't know if there's somebody just didn't want it. I'm going to double check to make sure there's no, I don't see any buttons missing. I don't see any stains in pretty good condition it's not like a really old wool rich but it's old enough i've spoke about this fabric before it's called chamois this is a cotton the 100 percent cotton but when it's like thick and it kind of looks like it's pilled like it's pilling but it's not that's just the way that the fabric is this is called a chamois this is a chamois cloth um i usually do very well with these they usually sell pretty quick another pack of vintage socks i could be getting all these um vintage socks and i've been doing pretty good with them these were sold at murphy's these are 11 some of them i've been keeping like i don't think i need any more socks i think i got enough how many is this four four pairs six pairs i don't know three pairs there's three pairs in there so maybe like 20 bucks for these depending on the brand um i have designer ones listed right now like Givenchy, and you know i've um, were they Pierre Cardin? Good brands. Not bad. Um, I should do well with them. I think this was the... This was the... What was the Rush Tour. I seen one of them sell for like 25 bucks. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to pick it up. It's missing the tag. Somebody ripped off the tag on the inside. But um, it's about a large. Um, large is usually like around... Um, a basic is like a 21, 22 pit to pit. 
like a 4042 is a is a large because I'm a large there's a reason why I know all right not too much you know I got a few things not too bad I'd rather do haul videos and walk around with a GoPro at a yard sale I'm just not feeling it I'm not I'm just not feeling it it's not I don't think it's for me I think that's what it is I just don't care for it um, this is athletic fit this is it's a Gant I believe that's Ron. Is that Ron Gant? I think that's Ron. Ron Gant? Wasn't he a baseball player? He played for the Braves. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, he was a, he was a baseball player. Played for the Braves. But this was brand new. That's the reason why I picked it up. It's just your basic sport coat. Um, the buttons aren't the buttons aren't metal, but it's still brand new. So that's a good thing. Um, it's a big size too. That's probably like portly or it's a big size. All right, this I grabbed when I when I walked in. I noticed it. This is what is that? Worldwide clothing. It's not made in USA. This is Rami and cotton too, made in China. All right, so this is a Bugle Boy. Um, some I don't do well with Bugle Boy. I really don't pick it up. The only reason I picked this up was because it's a hunting vest. It's actually got the zipper on the other side. I don't know why. I don't know why that is. Let's see if we can zip it up. It's not zipping. There it goes. All right, so it's got the, it's got all the pockets for all your bullets, and it's got the big pocket in the back. I think you, you put your fish in there, or bird, or whatever. When you, you put your game in there, you know, big pocket. It doesn't have the pocket that goes all the way through. That one's for like a fish. I believe you can put a fish back there or something. But um, it's a hunting, just a hunting vest. I'm not really sure what they go for, but I just picked it up. I figure it, it's probably going to sell now. You know, most likely. Oh, there's another pair. These are red cap. These are... Oh, these are 40. These are a 38. So these are a little bit smaller. I have to do the waist on these. I have to make sure that they're all the same. I don't want to sell them in a lot, you know, if some of them are different. And I did pick up this shirt. The only reason I grabbed this shirt is because it's brand new. It's not a very good brand. It's called High Surf. It might be an older brand. So if this is vintage, we might have a chance. But the original tag on it is only $25. So it's not like it's worth, you know. It's not a Tommy Bahama. But it's pretty cool. It's got beers all over it. I mean, it's just your cool, you know, drinking beach. You know, go trip to Hawaii shirt, whatever. And we got a ton of ties. We got a bunch of ties. Found a Burberry tie. Ties. Lots of ties. I'll show you. I'll show you guys a couple of them. I did learn a couple brands today. A couple new brands. That one's the Burberry. Put that away. That's away. Um, I picked up a couple Joseph A. Banks. I think I'm going to lot them together. Here was the one. Still got the two dollars on it from Goodwill. People don't really pick these up and resell them. Um, I'll probably get like fifteen for two of them. I'll just lock them together. Got some trash. All right, this is a signature collection. I'm running it over with my wheel. Just your Joseph A. Bank signature collection. It's like a polka dot. It's got a got a square too, like a check. Polka dot check. So let's do this. Let's. Let's make some room here. There's that one. I think this was the new brand that I learned. The name of this brand is A. Soka and Company. Um, I see one of them sell for like close to $50. So I'm going to probably list it high. It's a skinny tie. It's not in the best condition, but we'll see. We shall see, said the blind man. Um, here's a Mercedes tie. Not sure if it's affiliated with the automobile, but it's got little golfers all over, and I figured that it would probably do decent. I think I'm going to start running ties on auction just to bring people in. So I don't know how well that's going to work. I've done it before. I, I just don't like shipping items out for nothing. I don't like selling things for like, you know, $3. It just doesn't make sense to me. But um, here is the Burberry tie. It's got the Burberry under there, but it does have a look like a rip. If you look, if I can get a good... I can get a good, let's see, can you see it in there, a little Burberry, got the Prorsum, you can't really see it too well, you can see it better on the tag, but it is Burberry, it's just, it's missing the, there's the, 
There's the porsome guy, whatever. The guy on the horse with the... It's not a javelin, it's something. I don't know what that stick's called. It's whatever. Here's a Bill Blast. Not a very good brand. I only picked it up because it has the, tie, the tag still on it. So, I think this guy wore them with the tags. Here's another Joseph A. Bank. This is a really nice one. This one's really nice. I'm going to put this with that other one. These are going to sell together. So, I'm going to sell them in a lot. They may just be the same length. If they're the same length, that's, that's what's important. They're the same width. And they're the same exact length. They're the same length, just about, almost exactly. So these two I'm going to put together. They're going to sell together. Um, this one's like a railroad, a prestige. They do like novelty. This one's just railroad. It's got a bunch of trains on it. I just thought it was cool. Um, I, I didn't look it up. I don't know what it's worth, but it might be worth listing. You never know. This one is, this one's black and brown. That's another brand that people sleep on. It's not a bad brand. It's not a great brand. But there's the logo. It has like a little crest, a little seal. Um, it's got a cool stripe, stripe to it. Really, really nice quality tie. Made really well. And I think this was the Botany. Um, Botany 500 is an older brand. Very high-end brand. Um, this is just plain Botany. This is 100% wool. That's the only reason why I bought it. It's a skinny. Um, it has like the, what's that plaid called? Tartan. Like a tartan plaid design on it. So we, we, we'll run with that, right? Is that another Joseph A. Bank? Or is that J. Crew? No, that's the Lauren Ralph Lauren lady handed me this tie. And uh, of course I took it. It's got a nice little, the teardrop design. That's called Paisley. Call that Paisley. It's like a 70s type of design then we have the Charles Tierwit that's another good brand they make they make high-end shirts they make like dress shirts so skinny polka dot should do really well because it's polka dot I was very selective with these ties um, as much as I could be this is Florida Seminoles I recognize the logo it's got the um, the Native American on it um, Indian Chief whatever you want to call it you have to be careful about um, what you post now, because I think they're starting to pull stuff like that down, like um, Redskins are changing their name, and I, so, I mean, this is what I've heard, and I, I don't know if if that's actually taking effect, so I, I don't know, so don't quote me on that, because I really, I don't know, you know, what's going down. Last but not least, we have this Artifacts tie, they do, like, all kinds of stuff, this one is a jukebox, it says, it says jukebox, Retro series jukebox style 1150, just really cool. Has all the old vintage jukeboxes on it, all over it, it's like an all over print silk. Pretty dope. Not too bad. Um, not a whole lot of stuff, but that's okay. I only can only list so much in a day. Um, what I'm gonna do right now, I have about 10 orders to ship. I'm gonna ship out my orders. We have a lot to do with our house. It's gonna be really hot, um, moving. So that's. Not looking forward to that. We're going to have to try to stay as cool as possible. I'm going to cut my hair all the way off. And uh, with a razor, I'm going to have to shave it with a razor. I'll still be sweating. But um, we'll just have to try to stay as cool as possible. Um, we, we have our stuff put in a pod, um, which is just like a like a trailer. They just put it on a trailer, and then they pick it up, and they just stack it. And uh, that's what we got. But they can't deliver it until the 7th, and today is the 30th. Which, if you guys are watching this video today, don't forget tomorrow is when they um when you guys can apply for your coupon if you have an ebay store so don't forget to take advantage of that coupon i have a premium store so i get 50 doll hairs i take that 50 dollars and i usually get what i can't get anywhere else like i can get boxes anywhere i can dumpster dive and people give them to me so i don't really order boxes per se sometimes i do i'll probably order padded padded mailers i'll get a bunch of ebay padded mailers and maybe some more tape or something but everything else i can kind of get somewhere else um you can't really get you can't get um ebay um whatchamacallit's um bubble wrap so you have to buy that yourself i did buy some to tide me over for a little bit what i'm going to do is i'm going to order probably order stuff next week because this week i have i have more bills than usual because it's the first so i got to pay the rent for this this space. I got to pay my internet bill because I have internet here. Um, I got to pay the wifey. I got to give money to put towards the house and the kids and everything else. 
So by the time I do all that, I might make a decent amount um, every week. But when I have bills that hit me like that, it kind of hits me, you know, and I'm just like, whoa, you know, I'm not making $3,000 a week. You know, I'm, you know, I'm doing well, but not, you know, not that well. I'm working on it. Um, it just depends on what you list. If, if all my inventory was super high end inventory, then of course, you know, I'd be making that kind of money, but would it be selling the way that the stuff that I'm listing now is selling? So you got to take that into consideration. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, smash that thumbs, thumbs up button, hit the like button, um, hit the notification bell to get notified when I post new content and peace. Um, out.